guys, it's Donna from Donna Gills Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this really pretty pastel beach tumbler. Everything I used in today's video will be linked in the description below, along with the links to my social media in case you want to follow me that so that you can. And if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel, and please feel free to share the video with your friends and family. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting out with a prepped and sanded cup, sprayed it down with 91% rubbing alcohol, and went ahead and spray painted um, my cups to go along with the color glitters that I'll be using. All the glitters I'll be using today are from the Glitter Grind, and they'll be linked in the description below for you. So you can see that I'm just using my ombre effect going down from the top instead of leaning my cup. I have better um, it comes out better for me that way for some reason. I'm going to seal it with Rust-Oleum 2X Glossy Clear. You can also use a matte spray. And went ahead and put two coats of epoxy on that cup and then sanded it down and then sprayed it again with the 91% rubbing alcohol. So I put it back on my turner when I was done and go I'm going ahead and putting a coat of epoxy. Now I do want my epoxy to move a little bit so I'm putting a little bit more epoxy than I normally do on here just so that when we go to put our waves on this cup that they will move for us. Now I do my waves a little bit different maybe than other videos you've seen. I will start out with my heat gun and then I'll use my fingers as well. I just like how it comes out that way better. That's what works for me, but please absolutely do what works for you. I am using Illumilite's white epoxy dye. I'm just putting a couple drops into my leftover epoxy and that's what I'll be using today for my waves. And I am hitting it with my um, torch before we get started on these waves. Now I'm just, you know, putting some lines and I usually do put some going sporadically, you know, throughout the cup, just not, you know, at the bottom as well. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So then I'll let that sit there for a few seconds and then I'll go ahead and use my heat gun to kind of move those waves a little bit. I usually go in an upward fashion when I do this and I will do this as I'm going through the whole cup on all those lines we just put on there. And then once I'm done, you know, using my heat gun, I'll go ahead and um, I'll make sure I have a paper towel in one hand and I'll use my gloved finger with the other hand to kind of, you know, kind of move those waves a little bit more. And sometimes I feel I just have a bad habit of putting too much waves on there. So that's what I'm using with the paper towel. Once I'm moving those waves around with my gloved finger, I am uh, really quickly just wiping it off on the paper towel. So I'm not taking white paint off and putting it back on. So that's why you see me here with the paper towel. And I just like how my waves come out this way. Um, but if you strictly use a heat gun to do your waves, please absolutely feel free to do what works for you. What works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So I'm going through it, you know, one last time with my heat gun, moving it around a little bit more. And then once I'm done with my waves, guys, I'm going to put this on my big turner in the back of my shop and let this cure. And then once we get, um, I'm gonna put another coat of epoxy on it. I may need one coat, I may need two coats. It just depends, you know, for me per tumbler. Um, and then once we're done, you see on me, I decided after I did my waves, I just had to put a little bit more at the top there by the sky. Um, and then once our cup is cured, we're going to give this a really good sand. And what I like to do also is, um, since I'm using a decal, I'm using a white cast decal, and I don't like to put those on a sanded cup because sometimes you can see those lines from the clear parts. So I will put it back on my turner with another coat of epoxy until smooth, and then I'll come back and put my decal on. Now what I normally like to do with these decals, and this decal is from Gracefully Created, I'll put their link down in the description below. I absolutely love their decals. Um, 
I will kind of take it off that backing paper and just leave a little bit of the clear part. This way I can move it around if I need to. I'm not putting my fingerprints on the whole decal. And then I just use the hinge method. I'll pull back a little bit of that backing. I will trim up that backing with my scissors and then I'll place that decal back down. And then, um, so I'll place that side back down and then I'll pull off from the opposite uh, side and pull off that rest of that backing and I will press firmly with my fingers and then I'm going to go over it with my hand just to make sure that there could be no air coming up or no epoxy to get up underneath that decal. So once this is on we can put it back on our turner and put our final coats of epoxy on it. I am using the Flint Sister Supply Company's epoxy. absolutely love their um, epoxy. Their link is in my description below. And I just want to give a close up here of the finished tumbler. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one.